A few years ago, if you wanted to change the pump in a combi or in the house, we would have to drain and flush the system out, drive to a merchant or a DIY store, pick up a new 1550 or 1560 and put the motor in the front of the combi or the whole valve and the motor into an ordinary system. But nowadays that's not good enough. Fortunately, Grandfoss have come out with a new pump called UPS3 and we'd like to thank our rep Tom and technical at Grandfoss for the making of this video and supplying all the materials. Now Grandfoss make two models of this. This is the generic pump UPS3 with just a live neutral nerve so nothing special as before and this provides three fixed speeds and three multi speeds by pressing the cursor and we'll cover that in another video but basically uh, if it's got the two leads so now we've got condensing boilers that are even smarter they would have a smart lead and then the normal mains plug lead into it that's it so that's the end of this first part and then we'll cut away and then go into the next part in more details before we move on to the second example can i just ask you to subscribe to our channel where we've got lots more videos for you to see so we're going to do exactly the same as we did before we're going to use the app to focus and photograph the pn number and as you can see on the side we'll go through exactly the same stages and in the end the app will tell us it just needs a generic pump nothing too special and this is the UPS3 so we set this up according to the manufacturer's requirements so it's speed one two or three don't forget before we start any work read the installation manual for this boiler to check the draining down procedure and the filling and venting and because this is a new spare part we're going to put Fernox F2 or Sentinel X200 silencer so thanks for watching the video this is the third and final chapter to changing the pump using the app for the UPS3 so as we can see we've got a really old pump so we're going to as usual look in the manual about draining down filling and venting and the answer will be um, we need to change it to a UPS3 now in this particular case this is different to a combi which needs fixed speed one two and three because we've got two valves or a diverter Y plan system, we can now choose whether we have another three settings. So this pump incorporates three fixed speeds and three multi speeds. And we move across by pressing the cursor, which is on the slides that come up later on. So thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel where we've got more videos and dvds for you to see thanks very much